I have, have started, uh, I see that there is some of you that uh, listen to my episodes uh, every time I I release uh, one new episode. There is some people that immediately is downloaded to listen at uh, and uh, I hope that for you that that doesn't have an any around you no older people no grand grandparents or a mother that that kind uh, that you can have me as uh, as your uh, the one to listen at and uh, if you write me a question and tell me about you and I can I can answer you and talk to you uh, through my podcast but not telling your name like that uh, that you will be anonymous uh, and uh, that should be so so nice for me also not only for you it's for me also as I don't have any any family real family I have family but they they are not uh, uh, not talking to me so much uh, last time my daughter was here uh, that was the first time I really talked to her and she talked to me and asked me questions and uh, she is born 1985 and have not asked me those questions that is in your heart uh, that uh, she have, uh, until I I left uh, Sweden and left my daughter uh, behind because God was calling me to uh, fly to United States and be there homeless. I couldn't bring my daughter with me in, in the home, homelessness and she had a father that is very wealthy man and uh, he she had uh, moved back to him we were not together her father and me and uh, so it, it was the first time and I it felt so very nice to could talk to my daughter and she asked me a question that was adult to adult people um, really like uh, not mother and daughter that we were on the same uh, level she and I really adult talking and that felt so very nice um, there is much uh, sin in the world uh, and uh, it is it is hard to know exactly what is sin and it should not be seen what people uh, see as sin it must be the sin god is talking about what is what does god call a sin and there is uh, some sin that is uh, is really a deadly sin in that way that you be separated from god and but that 
but God is not that way that he is stubborn like some people are in the world. Uh, that's uh, not God because he, he loves all his creation and he only waits for you to communicate with him and coming back to him when you, uh, you are lost somewhere. It's easy to go lost when you, when uh, born into an environment that is not in God's, it's God's plan, but it's not uh, the the path to God because it's make you go astray if you if you're not. Uh, make your own way from and not be a copy of like your childhood or copy of people that is evil and uh, it is uh, you have to find the truth by yourself there is no one no human that can give you the truth it's uh, the truth there is in the spirit uh, in what we in this podcast uh, I receive the truth from the spirits but the world can't give me the truth and uh, uh, it's uh, I talk talk uh, in this episode and in other episodes also what I see and read on Facebook and um, because I have have uh, about 90 percent is people that is uh, working in uh, in different religions so I see what they are talking about when it's come to God and other what they think is God and so it's uh, sometimes it's it's something I want to talk to you about and it was this that uh, I ask I, uh, I wrote yesterday that about uh, Jesus that how can we we know that he was out of sin and uh, because we don't know what was in his life uh, between he was 12 and 30 that I talked about yesterday also in that episode but uh, that uh, and that uh, I didn't get any answer. I get this surprise, this wow, like how dare you to ask that question to t- say this. But it, I wrote it today to those that have, re- they have not answer, but I know that people read my post my posts but they don't want to reveal for other people that they are friends with me or they read my post so they don't say anything and but I know from the beginning when I I started 2007 on Facebook I knew people is reading but they don't say anything and uh, so today I I wrote the continue to that I wrote yesterday and and it's this that I answer them that we don't know what what Jesus did between 12 and 30 of age Uh, I can tell it by my DNA but but I am not 100% sure uh, 
but uh, it was that time he married and get children in Jesus. But that you can't write uh, write about Jesus because Jesus had not done any sex. He was not having sex with Mary Magdalene and uh, because he uh, for many religion is sex without be married is a sin but we don't know if Jesus married uh, Mary Magdalene and uh, so we don't know anything and uh, some people say uh, Jesus was in that time he was to Egypt and uh, um, there is no for sure and uh, I have told before I know that but it was long time ago I, I talked and I don't know what episode I talk about it but uh, uh, when I didn't know God and I was teenager there was uh, 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 those uh, it was uh, yeah, mostly Jehovah Witness, but it was other uh, other people that come to me and ask me if I knew God. Do you know God? Do you know Jesus? Uh, and they say, they say to me, and I say to them that I respect your your opinion, your belief, I respect you about it. But I can't believe in what you are saying. I need to to know it on my own that if if there is a God and he must come come to me could go down come down to me and do something or say something that make me not doubt that he exists. I say to them, and they uh, they don't argue uh, with me about it when I say this to them, because uh, I hold the door open for God to come in into my life in that way I say to them if there is a God he should come to me to me and uh, talk to me or do something that make me not doubt that he exists I say so and he did, God did it, that he did so I, I could not doubt it. And uh, what make me believe there is a God? It was that when God come to my home in August 2000, and he said to, to me that, he was the God that was talking to Abraham. He was telling me that he was not Jesus. He was the God of the Old Testament, the one that was talking to Abraham. Abraham's God was it. Because he said to me that my daughter was in, in the room and and I don't know how much she understood uh, and heard. But he said to me that your, your daughter is going to be allowed to have a child in her womb. He said to me that. <coughs> <coughs> and I laugh inside me. I was laughing and I was thinking this is not God so 
I had in my mind it there was a God there in the room without knowing God. And uh, I had the answer in myself in that way. And uh, I received God. But I didn't really receive him in my heart before later. Because God said to me that you laugh like Sarah laugh, he said to me. And he knew that I didn't know the Bible. So he said some second later, and Abraham did. So Abraham and uh, Sarah, they laugh inside them about what God was telling them because they were so old and you know that they didn't know it know this but uh, we know it today that old old men can't have kids uh, they can do kids but it's harder for them to to make because the sperm is not so good as it was when they were young. So, of course, it was very strange because they could see it around them that old men had hard to get more babies. And uh, I may, may you maybe think wrong, but that was. Uh, what I was thinking it was not the spirit thing saying it was me saying it and uh, I maybe erase it <laughs> uh, because there is many today that have child when they are old men but uh, I, be I think they do technical things they get help to to get it uh, with medical things or with surgery style. But that's my thinking. Um, and I, I tell you when I am in a spirit and when I am on my own. <laughs> uh, and um, so he say that my daughter should be allowed to have a child in her womb and I I laugh I laugh because I knew that my daughter have no obior they she couldn't have any children she have no no not those pipes over her she have a womb but she have no ovier to take out the egg and uh, so I laugh but then uh, some some weeks or days uh, more like days then I read on the internet about this with egg donation and uh, and it was forbidden in Sweden in that time to do it but they could do it if it was this 2000 but today they can do it but in that time in year 2000 they couldn't it was only Finland and England around us that uh, did it and uh, there, there was a a, a professor from Finland that was in the the newspaper on the internet and I wrote her and I asked her if I could I am 48 years old but I have my period bleeding still and I asked her if I could donate egg to my daughter and she said to me that uh, that uh, I should come uh, take my daughter with me and come up to her her uh, clinic in 
Stockholm and it's about four, four hour drive to Stockholm from where I lived and, and but I did it and her my daughter's father drove us up to Stockholm and we we were we were laying at the McDonald's hospital for children this uh, we had one in Stockholm and then I was to the professor with my daughter and the professor say that uh, my daughter all, all children girls children when they when they are born they are born with eggs but then in some cases the egg doesn't come out of many different reasons uh, so my daughter have egg in her but the professor said my daughter was 15 years old and the door the professor said that uh, they they were thinking that uh, about when the child is 17 one seven years old 17 years old the egg is if it's not coming out it's dry dead it's uh, scream shrimps and screams <laughs> crumple and die inside them so it was very hurry uh, if it was that way and uh, the professor say i can take out egg from your daughter and then freeze them freeze them and she can have those egg when she is adult when she have a husband and they want to have a child and i can take out the egg uh, from the freeze and put it in in her womb because she have a womb and she can carry a child inside her womb she say and well, I, my daughter was only 15 years old so, so I have to sign the paper that uh, we we gave my daughter's body away to the science and when I write write my name uh, the professor say once again that uh, she have a womb <clears throat> she can carry a child in her womb and that was just exactly those words God was saying to me and in that moment when the professor say that she could carry a child in her womb then i knew that it was god that come down and talk to me and it was god of the old the abraham isaac and jacobs and those uh, that god a god elohim not Jesus and uh, I I thought first is because uh, I when I come to United States I walk into Christianity uh, church and learn from Christianity church so I thought that that one that come before God come uh, that was Jesus that come but I know also that he had white hair and white beard I saw saw him in the room and and then uh, when I have been up to heaven I have met those with white hair and white boards in the same time that I have seen Jesus in heaven and Jesus had been in his 30th have red brown hair and, and red brown 
uh, barred. Uh, and uh, on the side of Jesus, there was those men that were, uh, it was six men in the clouds waiting for me. And they have white hair and white bards. So I know today that it's the higher priest that is, the higher priest in heaven is have white hair and white bard. And, and Jesus is still his, in his 30s in heaven. And he was in the garden, uh, working in his garden, in the heavenly garden. Heaven have also a garden and have to be taken care of. So that's what Jesus is doing today. So he is not directed to have to the earth today. He has done his work and he can rest. Because uh, I say that when I go out in Jesus' garden, my garden is called Jesus' garden because I have seen Jesus in the garden in heaven. So my, my garden become to have that name, Jesus' garden. And uh, so I know the difference and that is the higher priest and have nothing with Jesus to do and God have nothing with Jesus to do either, either because when God is coming down here and talk to us, I don't see a body. Um, it was uh, last time he, I think uh, maybe it, it was not, uh, not God that was last time. It was once when it was uh, like a body. Uh, and uh, but it was not uh, a body because it was uh, in a cloud and uh, and it was only a little of a, a face in the clouds so it was not and now God have not showing when he's coming here he don't show a body and he he act different from those other spirits that is here that coming here they are not here but they are coming through and talk and uh, and they uh, i can see them in that door opening but uh, god is never in the door opening he's in the room immediately and then he's over my head and going down into my body from over my head. And, and people call it chakra. So I don't believe in this kind of things, but it's that kind what people are named it. And so uh, one of the most deadly sin to do is to mock the Holy Spirit. Uh, those, the Holy Spirit is all over those, those spirits that is coming through here and talk. Uh, you should not laugh about those uh, spirits in... A, you can laugh because of love. But you should not laugh like you mock them. You should not do that. It's a deadly sin that separates you from God. And it's, it is very hard to come back to God if you have done that. And, um, and one more big sin is to, to have greed. That you want everything is what's going on around the world that affect people so very much. Those um, leaders of, of countries that want to have other countries or 
or part of other countries and to affect all the people that live that in the in that area or in that country they want to take and make them itself and it is uh, it's many times I, I I be angry about United States for example also it's not only only uh, um, those uh, communist countries or dictator countries like that L like uh, United States is too much going in and and do things in countries that have conflict when when the country have not asked for help from United States but I know that this United States is going there because they have borrowed money to that country and they want to that's the money interest that make them be going into countries and helping them when the country doesn't really need that they, they can manage it by themselves the conflict and they go angry at United States but you need to understand that this economic interest that they have invest invest in into that country or th that area with their money and they want the money back one day so and they have uh, own industries in those countries and uh, areas that they want to keep safe so it's not the it's another way to think if you have thinking in the wrong way that and I'm angry at United States but you have to to understand their point of view why they are doing that and it's many times it's not I think it's not nice of them to to go into countries where they not really belong to but they belong to it in in money and interest in to create money uh, so uh, that this is things that you that's why you need to listen at my podcast because I bring you some other views of uh, how you think that can change your way to more accept what's going on and uh, be in peace of it uh, what's going on and to because I try to speak in love in love of all nations no matter what the leaders are doing and saying uh, there is people that is is uh, not that way that their leaders are so we i try to speak in love and uh, that's why you should continue to listen to me because i am not political person and I am not a religion person. I talk out of love and out from what God is telling me and the spirit, the host of heaven is telling me and the sum, some of my experience in life. To you, you I say that with, uh, in the same way I am humble. I say it that you really need me in your life to, for you to understand what's going on and have going on that affect us today. So God bless you and 
Thank you for listening.